Hey guys, it's Harpstar and welcome back to another FIFA 13 video and today I'm bringing you guys a team this season review on Dio Mercy and Bacani. I really really apologise if I pronounce the name wrong but it's just a really really hard name to pronounce. So the squad I used them in was a Barclays Premier League team with a Belgian Pro League player to give Embakani 9 chemistry. So his on card stats, he has an 88 pace, an 81 shooting, sorry, 70 passing, 82 dribbling, and 87 heading. Brought for 75,000 coins, and he's got a 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. So he plays for Anderlecht in the Pro League. His nationality is a Dominican Republic of Congo. He's a striker, and I played him in the 4 3 2 1 formation. So his in game stats is 86 acceleration, 93 agility, 72 balance, 90 jumping, 88 reactions, 90 sprint speed, and 93 strength. Fantastic physical stats there. Amazing, really are absolutely fantastic. 78 aggression, 75 attack and positioning, and 72 vision. 85 ball control, 82 dribbling, 91 finishing, 84 heading accuracy, 85 long shots. 89 penalties, 81 short passing, 95 shot power, and 88 volleys. He has a medium tackle work rate and a medium defensive work rate, and he stands at 6 foot 1. So now we look at his in game and on card stats, let's talk a little bit more about them. So he has 88 pace, and for me, being a pace abuser, that satisfies my needs a lot. You know, however, in game, He's quite inconsistent. His pace can sometimes be as slow as a snail, but sometimes it can be as fast as Usain Bolt. That goes for his dribbling as well. Sometimes his first touch is absolutely horrendous, but sometimes it's just godly. And that's really, really confusing, and sometimes it can be annoying when his first touch is misplaced and he loses the ball. But when he's on touch, when his pace and his dribbling are on touch, he's just an absolute peach to play with. He really is. So that's you know, it's a bad point, but also, you know, it's quite a good point that... Well, it's not really a good point, but it's a bad point that's inconsistent. But when he's on when he's on game, he's an absolute beast. So his goal-scoring record, 8 goals... Sorry, 24 goals in 8 games. Now that, for me, is just absolutely amazing. Usually, when I do informal team the season reviews, I only get about 12 goals. But to get 24 goals in 8 games, that's a 3 goal ratio. That is absolutely amazing. So it's from inside the box, he's a legend. His finishing, his shot power and his finesse is are to die for. When you use him from about 18 yards out to 19 yards out, the same traits apply. He's just an absolute peach in those areas. And he also has the finesse shot, I believe. So it's just an absolute fantastic bonus that he has that. It means when the play when the goalkeepers when the goalkeeper on the opposition is running out to you from the box. It just gives you an extra option to score, you can just curl it around him and it's a lot easier than having to chip him because chipping you have to put the right power bar into it but with finesse shots you have basically a bigger range and you can make more of a mistake on the power bar. So Ember Carney has a high attacking, sorry a medium defensive work rate and a medium attacking work rate. Now this is very very bad for him because he's a striker you normally expect them to have a high attacking work rate. Because, you know, because he has a medium attacking work rate, um, he's going to be on the halfway line most times out of not. And this means when the midfielders are pushing forward, he always is going to be on the halfway line. And because he was my only striker in the 4-3-2-1 formation, of course, I was not getting any goals. And because I wasn't getting any goals, I was not m winning any matches. Now... Another thing you can do to avert this problem is you can change his work rates in the team management But it's quite a hassle to do this every single game So it is quite a big letdown that he has a medium tackling work rate and a medium defense work rate So he has 87 heading on his cards, which is really really good However, I can't comment quite briefly on this because I didn't I did not use him as a target man but when I did cross the ball into him, he did always win the header and he always got the ball on target, which is a good plus sign. Um, he has three star skill moves, three star weak foot, which is good. When I did use his, use his weak foot, um, it's, it was usually really, really good. I got a few good, decent goals with it, good, strong power shot goals with him. Um, his skill moves are good. It means I can do the roulette, the step overs, all that good stuff. So it's good, good, good two stats there with the three weak foot and three skill moves. So it goes for about 75k at the minute on a PS3. And on the Xbox, I believe he goes for a little bit more, not too much more. 
But um, I believe his price will drop um, all round. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Because if it wasn't for his inconsistent pace, inconsistent dribbling, his bad long shot. Um, and also the fact that, you know, he, his nationality and league is not the best. I mean, the Belgian Pro League is not the most prestigious league. Um, you know, it doesn't flourish with the best players. No offence to it at all, but, you know, it's a fact. It hasn't got the best players. And his nationality is not the best as well. But, you know, it's quite, it's not the biggest letdown because you can make a few hybrids with him. But if I was you, I would wait until next Wednesday that's when the next team of the season comes out and that's when his price will drop to about 30k 40k but yeah make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to our hop star and i'll see you guys in the next video yep see you guys